Bill, I know you have a great interest in our Husker Power Circuit, so we're going to try to shoot a little video for you. It's not some fancy production, but we'll so you can be able to give you the idea how it works. First station is the squat, and you have a lot of choices, and we'll come back to that and show you different options. But the station number one is the squat. The circuit requires the squat be done first. The second station that we're choosing is a low lat pull. So you simply load the weight and do a set of 10. All the stations are sets of 10. The next station, the next station is a single leg squat. only do five on the single leg squat with each leg. Normally you would do ten reps. Here it's five with each leg to get your ten reps. Next is the push-pull circuit. These machines look the same, but one is a right push. The next one will be a left push. We use a bolster to make sure that our knees kind of stay solid. also see that I'm using a, a box. We have in this weight room a lot of shorter athletes. We have a push-pull circuit in all three of our athletic weight rooms and not everyone uses the box. I'm six foot tall so I'm kind of in the middle. I can either use it or not. Taller athletes don't need it. Shorter athletes do. This one looks very similar but now it's a left push and a right pull. We're doing sets of 10, not a couple of reps like I'm doing here for you. Now we've got another push pull machine, but this is more of an incline that was more of a bench press. And it's These are all ground-based. You see we're standing in every exercise. There's no sitting down. A ground-based circuit. They're done as slow movements as a base program. But I like to add an explosive movement, which isn't really part of the circuit, but I like to add it in there, and that's the jammer. The jammer could be done on its own on explosive day, but today I'm included in, in our circuit. And the jammer is made by Hammer Strength, and it's one of the first machines uh, that we helped them create here at Nebraska. Okay, so we're looking at starting a, a Husker circuit with two sets. We have an 80 second window to do our set, which takes about 20 of those 80 seconds, and the remainder is recovery time. After about a week, we would go to three sets at each station. Three sets in this circuit, we showed you seven exercises, would take 28 minutes. This program might not look like a lot of work, but it will build muscle, and it's magical. I wanted to show you a couple of squat options. You know, most people will have a power rack and they'll do squats in the power rack. But a lot of our basketball players and taller athletes have a lot of trouble. They can only squat down about this high and it just drives them crazy and not get much development to their legs or back. So we've uh, come up with different options. One would be the B squat, which is a safe way to train. But that's more for people that actually have an injury. So we've been searching for a way to squat heavier to build, to build the legs and back. So come on over here. With the use of a safety squat bar, we found that when you can hold on to something, you can actually squat down all the way. And you can engage the muscles that we're trying to attack. And so we have handles and a safety squat bar 
You don't even really have to hold on to the bar. This bar will just rest on your shoulder. And you can squat down. This has been a really tremendous addition to our program, a, way, a safe way to train legs heavy. Track. Oh, 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 oh.